Brooklyn Independent Television. Welcome to Brooklyn Review. I'm Brian Vines. Well, it's an age-old story. After finally finding a parking spot, you come back to a ticket for an expired meter. Well, in Bay Ridge, they're getting a break as the city installs new meters to give people a chance to spend more time in the places they want to be. Melissa Rose Cooper has the story. Rocco's Pizza Shop is just one of many businesses along Fifth Avenue that doesn't have to worry about its customers rushing out the front door. People have to always be in a rush uh, and concerned uh, about the time that they have, um, you know, about uh, you know, getting a ticket uh, or something of that nature. For years, drivers in Bay Ridge were only given an hour to park on the street at a meter. Not nearly enough time to do all the things they wanted. Fifth Avenue and Third Avenue are small mom and pop stores. Um, we have a lot of restaurants. We have a lot of um, hair and beauty salons and um, local retail stores. And what many of the um, customers and merchants were telling us that, particularly with the salons and restaurants, is that one hour was just not enough time for their patrons. But all that's changing now as the Department of Transportation says it's replacing the existing one-hour meters along 5th and 3rd Avenues with two-hour ones by April. The news of the extension comes after months of pushing by the community board, merchants, shoppers, and politicians to increase the time allowed for people to park. Patrons oftentimes would go elsewhere where there was parking facilities because the one-hour parking meter did not um, meet their needs. So when the muni meters changed, when, when the city decided to um, install muni meters in place of parking meters, they had some flexibility as it relates to the time span. Um, and what the 3rd Avenue and 5th Avenue merchants requested was that those meters go to two hours, giving patrons more time to go to restaurants or beauty parlors without, um, beauty salons without having to run out in the middle of a process or in the middle of a meal to feed the meter. Many people in the community feel the hour limit just doesn't give customers enough time to shop around, often resulting in expensive parking tickets. We get complaints from a lot of people, customers that come in, and they say one hour is actually not enough for them to do their shopping here and uh, cause them a lot of tickets. If you walk on 3rd and 5th Avenue at any given time, you can see one to two traffic agents walking the strip every day. Many people felt that it was too much enforcement, that the second your, your meter expired, there would be a traffic agent there waiting to issue a summons. And, you know, this made for difficult shopping for many people. They were, you know, hesitant to buy, to come to the avenue to go to a restaurant and have to pay, you know, a 40 or $50 summons. The increase in meter time to two hours will allow people people to shop and dine in the area a little longer without fear of having to feed the meters before time runs out. We think this is positive for businesses, we think it's positive for our residents and those who wish to come to Bay Ridge to, to have dinner or to frequent some of our restaurants. And store owners who suffer financially because customers don't have the chance to spend much time in their stores are hoping this will not only increase their revenue but also help boost the community's economy. Increasing the time to two hours uh, will definitely uh, benefit um, all the merchants and the businesses. And I think it'll give a nice, nice boost to the economy and getting people to spend more time on the avenue. I get a lot of people here that come in. They're, they're shopping and they're, you know, we're talking about certain items that they want to buy. And they get distracted with having to go outside and feed the meter every time. So having that extra time, it helps us, you know, spend quality time with our customers as well. A win-win situation for everyone in Bay Ridge. For Brooklyn Review, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org/bit.